Hi, my name is Stephen Parton and I'm an application engineer here at Carolina Motion Control. In today's demonstration, I will be showing how a slick 505 PLC will communicate over Ethernet to a Unidrive M700 or 702 using explicit messaging. Now we will use an EEM instruction in the Allen Bradley controller and now only controllers with firmware version 10 series C and above can use this EEM instruction. And we have written a motion profile program using the onboard PLC and using Machine Control Studio. This will perform a home, index, cam, and gearing to a secondary encoder. The SLIC 505 will control different parts of the motion profile, such as speed for the index and home, position for the indexes, and the ratio of gearing between the motor and the secondary encoder. So let's get started. So first I will start off by showing the PLC program in our Allen Bradley SLIC 505. First we'll show our explicit messages. So we can see here we have our EEM instructions and we have our uh, done and enable our done bits over here are N90 slash 15 and we have these set in series between the get and the set EEM instruction. So if we look right here to the right we have set M34 parameter 003, so menu 34, 003 will be set by this control block, this EEM instruction. And then we will get menu 34, parameter 003 from this one. So if we double click here, we can see where we have our, uh, where we will be storing. So get, we will go out to the drive, get it, and then we will store it in a location. We're gonna store it into integer file 11 colon zero. So it'll be two words. And down here we can see where we have it set up for menu 34, parameter 3. In order to set it, same basic same thing, how many words of data do you want me to send, and where is that data at? We have it in N12, colon 0. Down here, menu 34, parameter 3. So I'll close this. Same thing for menu 18, 11. We have our get, set menu 37 parameter 2, get, set, and so on. So we're going to scroll back up here to the top. If you would like some more information on setting up an EEM instruction, please visit uh, one of our other videos for doing so. We're going to come up to here and the first thing will be homing the drive. So as soon as the drive starts up, we want to home the motor. Well, the way that we have done this so far um, we are going to write to menu 1811, which in the drive will be used in the Machine Control Studio to determine the speed of the motor during a homing routine. So right here we can see 43, 44, we're indexing this parameter up. Um, this is going to be 450 RPM. And every five seconds, so we have our timer right here preset for five and it's counting up. Once that's done, we increment menu 1811 up one or 10 RPM. So if we enable our drive and start the homing routine, our drive is now rotating. Now it is rotating at 200 RPM. Every five seconds, it'll go up to 10. 220 until the home switch is made and we'll kill the home and we'll take off the home switch. All right, so here we can see we can enable our drive. We will give it the home command. We can see our motor is spinning. We will now make the home sensor. So that has now been defined as a zero position. Positioning is done by these two parameters. This set 34003 and set 34003 instructions. So we are going to move N72 and N73 into the N12 colon 1, which we showed earlier as being our integer file for setting menu 34 parameter 3. 
So right now we can see our drive is bouncing around between a position of 10 revs and a position of 20 revs. We can come in here and change this. Zero. As you can see, it's taking a little bit longer for the instructions to change since it is a further distance. Change this one to 45. Now we can see it's taking even longer for it to change. This motor is rotating to, to the two different positions. And the speed of the motor is still being referenced down here by our menu 18 parameter 11 set so we're adding those together so right now we're going 410 rpm and we can select to initiate our position moves and right now as it was before we are moving from 45 to 15. we can now change this I've just changed it between, it will now rotate between 0 and 10. So as you can see it's stopping more frequently. Change this to 5. Now it's rotating back and forth even. The last faster. part of our demonstration will be gearing to a secondary encoder. This instruction here will always be changing the ratio of gearing between the two. So right now it is a 1.000, uh, you can't see the decimal places, but in the menus there is uh, one, three decimal places to this parameter. So if we change this to a 500, that will be the same as 0.5. So for every one revolution of our secondary encoder, our motor goes half a rev. So if we change this to 2000 or 2.000, then in that case, when we rotate our motor once, when we rotate our secondary encoder once, our motor rotates twice. Here will be the gearing. So we'll rotate the motor to upward position. Shoot again, they're both in the up position. So right now we have a two to one. So for every one revolution of this, our motor will rotate two. And I'll change this to a one-to-one. -one. I'm changing all this in the PLC. For every one revolution of our secondary encoder, the motor rotates one. Here's 500. For every two revolutions here, the motor goes one revolution. Thank you and I hope you enjoyed.